Hey, what's up guys? Um, we're going to be installing Phantom JavaScript, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you need to do. So first thing, just go to Google, and you're going to download a zip file here for Phantom JavaScript. And if you're on Windows like I am, just uh, download the zip file. And literally all you got to do is, once it's done downloading, open it up, extract the contents, just the entire uh, thing just go ahead and extract that too and then place it anywhere you want like mine is going to be in the uh, C colon projects directory and then within there I have a phantom JS folder uh, which is right here and I actually already downloaded it so it's already in there um, so I'm not going to go through that process but that's what you have to do just create a directory for it um, now because we're going to be using more than just Phantom JavaScript to do some scraping, we're also going to be using something that's built on top of that called Casper JavaScript. And Casper makes things a lot easier to click. Um, in one of my previous videos, I had mentioned that Selenium is uh, really good, but it's slow. So Phantom JavaScript is really fast, but it doesn't have a lot of capabilities like clicking and things like that. So um, that's where Casper comes in. Casper JavaScript is a framework that works on top of Phantom JavaScript and it makes it a lot easier to click and follow links and stuff like that. So you would be really happy with that. Um, so the same thing with Casper. Um, you're going to download this here. It'll give you another zip directory just like with Phantom JavaScript. And you're going to want to extract that to a different folder. In my case, I have it in um, my C colon projects directory, just like Phantom JavaScript. Um, there's a Casper JavaScript here. Um, so that's just the contents um, that you're going to download there. You don't have to install anything. You strictly just extract it to that. Now, if you're on um, a Windows um, system, I'm on Windows 7 right now, you're going to need to add both Phantom JavaScript and uh, Casper JavaScript to your environment variables so that it knows how to execute the programs uh, when you call on Phantom JS or Casper JS. So in order to do that, you want to go to your control panel. And then under, just click on System and Security and then click on system and click on advanced system settings and then you'll see a little option here for environment variables just click on that make sure your path is highlighted like it is here and then you're going to want to edit that and for phantom javascript to work um, you want to just append to the end of this um, your path your direct path to where you placed phantom javascript so um, right after the semicolon, don't put any spaces or anything because um, you're going to have stuff in your path there. Don't erase it. Just strictly put it. Make sure there's a semicolon between the last thing there and then where you're going to place your um, phantom JavaScript. So in my case, it's C colon forward slash projects forward slash phantom JavaScript. And then just simply semicolon to end that statement. And now I'm also adding Casper uh, JavaScript so that um, that will also be on the Windows path. So same thing, uh, make sure there's no space, just strictly paste the exact path to where it can find Casper JavaScript batch bin folder. And that's what we have here. So um, anyway, that's, that's all you have to do and then it works. So once you have that in your path, if you open up a command prompt and you just simply type um, for Casper, well just let's do Phantom JavaScript first. So for Phantom JavaScript you just say Phantom JS and it'll pause there because it's um, it actually executes Phantom JavaScript there um, so that means that it's installed correctly now go ahead and open up one more command prompt and we're going to try out the Casper uh, in order to to launch a Casper application though you actually need to say Casper JS dot BAT and you'll see there that it executes so both of them are on the path both of them are now installed and now we'll be able to move forward with actually scraping websites using Phantom JavaScript and Casper JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.